All right, here with Lorenzo Carter from Norcross High School defensive end. The state's top prospect, Lorenzo, what is the latest with recruiting? Just, I mean, I'm narrowing it down. Starting to get my list down to six or seven. Uh, talking to coaches, just trying to make plans for visits. Right, right. And how, what, when do you hope to narrow down to six or seven? By the end of the summer? Or oh, yeah, by the end of summer, I'll have six. Okay. Yeah. I guess a lot of people heard that you were at Dog Night, so uh, Georgia fans will want to know, how did it go? It was good. Just a great opportunity for me to get up there, just spend time with the coaches, um, got a chance to hang out with a few players, and just it was just fun. Now, did Georgia, by you visiting Georgia for Dog Night, did that help Georgia's chances or hurt Georgia's chances? Or? Oh, yeah, I mean, there's not much that can hurt Georgia's chances right now. Um, they're just helping themselves. Okay. What was, uh, I guess you got a chance to meet with the head coach, Mark Rick. Yes, sir. And what was probably the most memorable thing he told you that night or something that stood out? Just let me know how big of a class that we have in Georgia. Like, if I commit it, we could have one of the top classes in the nation. And it would just be just a great opportunity for a home state. Right, right. And then in the past, you said that Florida is your leader. Is that Yes, sir. Still true after visiting Georgia, people would want to know. Yes, sir. Okay, and, and why is that? Why did the Gators lead for you? I'm just comfortable with the Gators. Um, we had a great visit there. Um, they're still up there talking to talk Coach Muschamp all the time, and this Coach Long is a great coach. Right, right. Did um, Florida, I guess for some people, they came out of the blue for you. Had, had that been a school you've been looking at quietly all along? Or? Yeah, I've always looked at Florida. Carlos Dunlap is my favorite player of all time. So, I mean, growing up looking at Florida, I mean, it's just a dream school for me. All right, now, let me make sure I got this straight. You're going to name your top six or seven, but three of the schools that you're pretty sure are going to make that list are Florida, Georgia, and Alabama. Is that accurate? Yes, sir. And then who are some of the other schools in contention for those final spots? LSU, Notre Dame, Florida State, um, Clemson. I got um, probably Oregon. That's probably the furthest school that I'm really not that much talking to, but, I mean, they're still in it. Right, right. And then are you going to visit anywhere else this summer? I don't know yet. Uh, I might go to Auburn. <laughs> yeah. and, and when would that be, maybe? It will probably be later. I mean, I don't know. Just catch a ride with one of my coaches. Right. Anybody else that you might take a quick look at? I know you talked about – South Carolina or Clemson, I believe? Yeah, I was going to try to get to South Carolina and Clemson. I just don't know when now. I mean, it's picking up really heavy. Right, right. The season start, starts, of course, practice in the next, I guess, 10 days. Um, and what about your timeline on making a decision? Where, where do you stand with all that? Um, it'll probably be signing day, just taking my time. I'm not trying to rush it. All right, that's Lorenzo Carter, Norcross High School, the state's number one prospect with the latest on recruiting.